Good morning and welcome to the video for Tuesday, May the 19th. This is going to be our homework video for our lesson working with triangles. So let's go ahead and take a look at our problems. So uh, for number two, we are looking for a triangle that has one right angle. And so that would be letter C. And then it is going to consist of probably zero sides of equal length. Um, it's not really possible for these to be the same length because if we were to flatten this out it should extend past here. Um, number three, our triangle that has one uh, angle that's greater than a 90 degree angle um, would be letter A, so this would be our angle that's larger than a 90 degree angle and again it looks like it doesn't really have any sides of equal length um, as I'm looking at it. Number four, how many sides appear to be of equal length? This uh, shape would have two. Uh, for number five, how many angles are greater than a right angle? All of these would be smaller, so that would be zero. Uh, draw a triangle that has two sides of equal length and one right angle. So assuming that I do this correctly, um, my sides of equal length would have to be these two sides and then my um, third side here, which would be known as the hypotenuse later on uh, in your math lives, um, that measurement is always going to have to be the longest side of this particular shape uh, for reasons that you will find out when it's time to do that. And it can be fun, but most people uh, that I know uh, did not enjoy that particular part of having to do all the math uh, involved with finding the lengths of those sides. Uh, number one on the back, how many angles less than a right angle? It appears that all three of those are. So if we don't have a marking here for the 90 degree angle, um, it is reasonable to assume that it is not. And so as we look at it, it looks like this possibly could be bigger than 90, but I really don't think it is. I think it's just smaller than 90 degrees. And the fact that this is a more open angle and this is a more open angle suggests that this probably would not be larger than 90 degrees. So I'm going to say zero. How many sides of equal length? We would have two. Uh, again, this would be the example of what we would draw at the bottom of the first page. Uh, number three, a quadrilateral has four right angles, uh, which is going to, let's see, opposite sides are not the same length. So that's the important part. If the opposite sides, uh, or the pairs of opposite sides are not the same length, then we have to have a rectangle. Otherwise, the first part suggests that we would have a square. So if we have four right angles, two pairs of sides, uh, they're the same length and two pairs of sides that are parallel. That could be a rectangle or a square, but the fact that they are not the same, the pairs are not the same length means it has to be a rectangle. Number four, Mason drew a quadrilateral with only one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. That means we would have a trapezoid. I'm just going to abbreviate that uh, like so. Number five, draw a rectangle that is an area of eight and a perimeter of 12. Here we go. So two two, four, four. So um, I would go ahead and accept the answer like this um, because that gives me all of the information I need to know. Um, I don't normally require my students, if they show it like this, to go ahead and rewrite it uh, down below in word form. And then this fraction here uh, would be three eighths that we're working with. So those are the homework problems for today. If you have any questions, uh, please ask in Google Classroom um, or please ask your classroom teacher if you are finding the videos uh, and are not one of my normal students. Um, we will have a new lesson on Wednesday and that will be the last lesson of the school year. So um, the homework video for that will come out on Thursday as well as some additional things about uh, different activities. So hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow.